Hello, welcome to Owusu West Kitchen. It's always a pleasure to have you here. This is one of my favorite tilapia recipes and I'm so excited to share with you. But then, be sure not to miss any of the tips I'll be sharing so that you can also get the same deliciousness. <laughs> so I've just made slight slices and as you can see, the inside has been washed, including the head. I've taken all the guts out. So the first thing you want to do, my dear, is to sprinkle your favorite fish seasoning onto the fish. This is the first thing to do. Okay, so I go ahead and sprinkle mine and rub it in well so that it goes in. And don't forget those lines. Yes, make sure to sprinkle some inside the lines so that, you know, it can cook and get into the inside. Season the inside and the head area as well. And and once this is done, we are going to put it aside to marinate and then we will move on to the next stage. In a pan, I'm going to fry white onions with spring onions, the whiter part of spring onions. Okay, so I'm going to fry it until it gets soft and I'm going to add a teaspoon of curry powder to it. Okay, so start off like this and you are sure to get a delicious sauce for your tilapia. So once the onions are soft enough we will go ahead and add our blended up peppers so for the pepper blend it's a combination of red pepper green pepper half of each one medium sized red onion ginger garlic and these two hot scotch bonnets a combination of both red and green as well so i'll pour it in if you want this extra spicy, add in extra chilies to your taste. This, my dear, it does not take time at all to put together. It will be ready before you know. <laughs> Simply whisk this together any day, any time for your friend or family and I promise you will make your day. When it has cooked halfway, we will come back and add all our seasonings. So now that the oil is separating, you can see I'm going to go in with one teaspoon of shrimp powder, one teaspoon of dry thyme and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so I'll stir everything and let it cook for about three to four minutes, allowing the prawn powder to cook. And once it has thickened up nicely, it is time for it to be transferred onto a plate so that it can cool down. okay so now our sauce has cooled down now we are going to be rubbing it onto the tilapia it's already got seasoned with the fish season remember and please don't forget those lines it's very important put some in as well so that the inside also gets seasoned okay and if you think this tilapia is going to be yummy, go ahead and give your sister a thumbs up and please subscribe. Subscribe and check out my channel for other great recipes. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing as well. And we are not stopping here. There are a few more bits to add on to it. We are packing it with awesomeness. <laughs> So we will open the inside as well and put some in there, rub it in and then we go to the head part. Yes, if you are team fish head, you know what I'm talking about. You want it to be seasoned well as well. Fish head, <laughs> if you know, you know. We are going to be working on the inside as well. So here I have just crushed one fresh garlic and this is the green part of the spring onions from earlier on, okay? So I'll just gently crush it to release its flavor. And here are some fresh thyme as well. Fresh thyme and fish is like bread and butter. And I've just popped in the fresh garlic in the head area to help get rid of any raw fishy smell, okay? My spring onions came from the freezer. That's why it's looking like that. <laughs> anyway, so it's in. And I'm now adding the fresh thyme to it as well. And I'll also pop a little bit in the head section. 
okay to give it fragrance from inside out now a quick tip set your oven at gas mark 8 or 230 degrees celsius and time it for about 20 minutes and i promise you it will come out so so beautifully done and i'm having my tilapia with some fried yam look good appetite isn't it <laughs> yes and you can go ahead and use the remaining of your sauce to spread on and hold on for the fun part yes the eating part chop time you are invited anyway <laughs> It tastes so good. The spring onion garlic and fresh thyme has done a beautiful job inside. And the outside, there is no need telling. If you are new here, hello, you are welcome. This is Oswe's Kitchen. I hope you would join the family by subscribing. And to my returning subscribers, thank you ever so much. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, be happy, keep smiling and shining because you know what? God has your back. Bye-bye.